Hello everybody, homeschoolers, unschoolers, grandparents, parents, interesting parties, theatre lovers, lovers of life, lover of the process, the journey, and um, the unknown. Uh, my name is Lindsay Bartlett and I am in my homeland right now. I am in Swanage, England. I was born in England and um, it's very nostalgic being here and very wonderful that I'm making this video here. I came to America in 1980 as a nanny. I worked for ch with children for a few years. Um, my background is um, in social work, education. Um, I got my elementary education degree in this country and uh, I'm also an actress and I have trained in Boston and New York. And um, I have a love for living. I love the theater, I have a love of um, children and the last, well, since I've been in this country, really even before, have been sort of doing all these things that I'm passionate about. And uh, the last 14 years I've been in mental health. I've been working with um, a vulnerable population with various um, labels, you know those labels? <laughs> and. Um, and after 14 years, I've decided that I'm ready to, to move on and take all those skills that I've learned from being in mental health, being in education, um, and as an actor, and, and sort of um, maybe come full circle back to theater. And I wasn't quite sure how I was going to do that, but it was presented me in such a sort of um, serendipitous, wonderful way. And I um, can't help but, but uh, embrace this opportunity. Um, if I were going to be um, enrolling my children in a program like this, there are certain things I would want to know. If what I'm sharing is not so relevant to you, and I'm there's some information missing that's important to you, absolutely please do um, call me directly, talk to me, call me on the phone, uh, however you want to contact me. Every child is very different, has individual needs, and. Um, as a parent, I know what it's like to, you, you know, sometimes we want to make sure that, um, you know, there are specific questions that we have and uh, I appreciate that. Um, I'm a very transparent person. Um, I, uh, my children were homeschooled. We were un definitely unschoolers from the ages of kindergarten through fifth and seventh grade. And at that point they, they wanted to go to school and people would say, well, what's your what curriculum are you using? And I say, well, passion. And you're like, yeah, I know, but what, you know, curriculum? And, and um, so I said, no, passion. I, I just want my children to fill their days doing things that, that bring them joy. And um, I never really worried about the academics. I didn't worry, maybe I was a little bit naive, but I really trusted from my own experience in school and that of other members of my family um, that, that the most important thing was for my child to wake up in the morning and, and know that they're enough and uh, appreciate who they are, all their quirks and, you know, little challenges that we all have. So those years of homeschooling my children were incredibly precious and during that time I did sort of direct a, you know, theatre program with my um, local, uh, you know, homeschooling group put on many, many performances in the woods, not in the woods. Um, my co-facilitator um, has more experience in the, in the woods than I do. And one of the reasons I'm so excited to be working with her is because she is such an environmentalist. She is such an out there in nature gal. And I've been wanting to get back to that. So this is really um, a wonderful opportunity for me. So I'm very much process oriented, meeting the students where they're at. Uh, part of my job in the mental health agency was directing a program called Acting Out. And I would work with uh, middle schoolers on up to 18, taking um, improv theater into the schools, using it as a vehicle to address, you know, the issues that were at hand for these young people. And uh, I'm sure that, um, you know, you have a lot of the same issues in, in Boston area and around as we do here in New Hampshire. And um, so we took the subject matter that was important to these students and, um, you know, created this these wonderful uh, theatrical experience that was, was fun, joyful, emotional, you know, and these students were really passionate about what they were doing. 
I don't have any big expectations of what product we will end up with. Uh, I have had a, an improv troupe at one point and some parents would be really wanting to know about what, what performance is and I um, asked them to take a leap of faith and trust that the process itself and being in the moment without expectations meeting students where they're at and um, giving them a chance to discover their gifts and to be patient with the process that no matter what we would end up with an amazing performance and that's not something you can prepare for it really is sort of a, a leap of faith you know, trusting in in some things out of our control but if every child that is part of this group feels value and every child values each other then we're going to end up with uh, something very very meaningful and I don't know what that will look like, but I do know that um, your children will be the ones that, that inspire me. And it's my job to tune in to what's possible and to be able to guide them and give them some direction. Um, so uh, I don't know what else I want to say on this video because I don't want to talk too much <laughs> and um, I don't want to bore you. But there might be specific questions that you have and so I absolutely welcome them. I will talk to um, Lucia and uh, I will say to her, okay, should I do a second video and what are some of the things that would like to be addressed? So I really welcome you to send emails um, or however you want to do it, text to Lucia and say, well, she didn't say anything about this and she didn't say anything about that. Um, and, and I'd be happy to, to talk about that and I know that I will be meeting you all very soon. Um, I return from across the pond on Saturday and uh, I'm eager to uh, come visit you. I love the Boston area. It's the first area I came to when I moved here in 1980. Um, so it was a young thing <laughs> and um, I uh, lived in Linfield. I've lived in Jamaica Plain. I've lived in Newton and um, I, uh, I just I just I just love the area. So what a, another wonderful um, way to come back and sort of uh, get back into the community that I, I, I started in when I moved here. So with that I will um, say cheerio, bye bye and uh, hope to meet some of you soon. Bye bye.